Good morning, welcome to another video. So, I, the original plan today was to go across the moors um, on Dartmoor National Park um, and get some images of the rocks. A few different places I wanted to go I had planned. Um, but I've ended up here in little wood, uh, just very on the edge of Dartmoor. Um, and that wasn't intentional. I got to where I was going um, and realized I forgot my walking boots. So I'm now wearing trainers. And I didn't want to waste the trip. I didn't really want to walk across Dartmoor in trainers. It's a bit dangerous. Um, so I didn't want to waste the trip. So I saw this little wood and thought I'd just pop down. And I've actually come across a fly agaric mushroom, which it's not unusual. This is the time of year that they come out. But a lot of the specimens are destroyed or they're not very, they're not in very good condition. They've either been eaten or they've uh, had wind damage or trees of barks have fallen on them but this one mushroom on this central path this is the main thoroughfare of, of this part of the wood um, very heavily used by dog walkers um, i've got an almost perfect specimen which is really weird because everything else all the others around uh, are not not that great so uh, don't get me wrong i'm very pleased that it's here and i'm gonna take a photo of it so I shall get my camera out, Ooh, if I don't fall over and kill myself, I shall get my camera out and see if I can get a decent image of this one on the path before a dog tramples it. So I've got a couple of ideas for this one. Um, I've got it's the 70 to 200 lens on. And I'm going to try it a couple of ways. So I'm going to try uh, f2.8 to blur the background. And I'm also going to try f probably 11, maybe f16 to give it a bit of a more of a depth of field. And I will try um, from a low down angle. And then I'm going to come a little bit higher. So the low down angle, I'm going to try and get the underside and then the iconic red speckled top for the above shot so then i've also got there's three um individual mushrooms here i'll just show you what i'm talking about <laughs> so so you can see there's this there's this one is the main one um that i'm getting today then there's this little one down here and another little one here so i might try and get if i can clear some of that might only be able to get these two but I'll try and get that shot. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on the fins. That's F2.8, so I'm gonna try F11, do about a half a second. So there we go again, and then I'm going to focus on the gills again. really trying to come in okay now I'm gonna go higher up okay so should we focus that cut one stack all the way to the gills Ooh. 
Okay, so that's the image stacked with the light. Now I'm going to try it without the light. Okay, so that's the image stacked with and without light. So let me know in the comments what you think, which one you think is best. Um, I can't tell you because uh, I'm not at home and I haven't stacked them. But looking on the back of the camera, I did like the natural light a bit more. But I also think that the, the artificial light does give it something a little bit different. So let me know what you think. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the shots that I've done with the zoom lens. Now, I'm going to try and keep the zoom lens on, um, just because I like the background compression. Um, and I'm just going to try and get a little bit lower, so I might have to walk out a little bit further away to get the rest of these mushrooms in the shot. When, you, when you're clearing the, um, the debris off the mushroom, a mushroom, I think it's a common misconception that you can't touch them because if they're poisonous, you'll absorb the poison, but they're not. They have to be ingested in order to, for the poison to be released. So you can, you're perfectly fine touching them. Okay, so what we're looking at is this mushroom here, you can't, is in the uh, bottom third. This mushroom is in the top third, but it's in the center. So this one's just off center and this one's center. So that's the way I've composed it. Okay, so. So that's the fly agaric mushroom. So hopefully I've done it some justice with the photos. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. Did you prefer the light or did you prefer uh, just the ambient light? Um, be interesting to know. So if you do watch my videos, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, it does help with the algorithm. And if you haven't liked this video and you did enjoy the content, please do consider liking it. And I will be extremely grateful. If you like mushroom videos though, I'll pop one up here. And if you don't know how to photo stack your images, I'll pop a quick tutorial up here. So, yeah. So until the next one, I will catch you on the next one. So until the next one, no.